Jung uh, went, uh, went deeper in his research. He says uh, he's an empiricist. And he went deeper in studying the psyche than Freud, for instance. Freud uh, researched and studied the um, personal unconscious, okay, the repressed uh, stuff, material that we, we all have, and our complexes. And Jung goes deeper than that. So what Jung, Jung does is uh, to study, for instance, the dreams of his patients. He is the probably the psychiatrist who uh, analyzed more dreams in history, I think, more than 20,000 dreams during his uh, lifetime. So he studied the dreams and he finds, and in the material also in of his patients, the fantasies and thoughts. And so he uh, gets to the point of observing that we have another conscious consciousness, not only the ego conscious, uh, but a deeper consciousness, uh, deep in the what he called, nowadays everybody knows, the collective unconscious. And this consciousness he calls the self. Okay? And in the self he locates the archetypes that are function uh, structures and that um, actually he says that um, represent uh, the it's not the spiritual DNA because the analysts don't like this expression, but it is the um, our inheritance, okay, the inheritance of mankind, all our patterns of behavior, the way that we react, and uh, they exist in all of us in every uh, history of man, in every civilization. So the father and mother, for instance. Um, concepts, they are not only our complex, personal complex, they are also archetypes. If you say in a language of a person, okay, for instance, in Russia, and you know how to speak in Russian, and then you, you, you say the word mother, for instance, uh, okay, the person can connect to her personal experience of a mother, so the mother complex, but this person, for instance, can have an, an image of the Holy Mother, for instance, if uh, this person is a very religious person, or if the person is an ecologist, uh, can have an image of Gaia, the Earth. So uh, Jung also says that all of us ha have a personal myth, and then we have a um, development to do here in personality, okay? Uh, when the process that he called individuation. So, uh, if we uh, get to our inner self, so if we, if we, in psychotherapy for instance, if we are able to work with the ego, but also to um, accept that we have an inner voice, this inner experience that has a knowledge, that, ha that knows what we're supposed to do here, not at only as a personality, but as a soul, uh, so then we can get to a point where we know what we're, uh, we are doing here. What is our personal quest? Uh, which way my psyche, my, myself is telling me that I should go?